Although this video is specifically about replacing a circuit breaker in an RV park power pedestal, which you as an RVer may never do, the information here may help you if you ever need to change a circuit breaker inside your RV. The concept is the same. Recently we've been noticing that our 110 volt lights in the RV have been flickering from time to time. We also noticed that the needle on our voltmeter was bouncing down to the bottom of the scale for just a moment every now and then. Every time the lights flickered, the needle would bounce. Then turning on our microwave oven was too much for our 30 amp power pedestal to handle even with nothing else turned on in the entire RV. Suspecting a faulty 30 amp circuit breaker, we tested that by attaching our 30 amp to 20 amp adapter onto our power cord and plugging into the 20 amp outlet on the pedestal. Sure enough, the flickering stopped and we confirmed that we simply had a bad 30 amp circuit breaker. Today we're going to show you how to replace that. Replacing the circuit breaker on an RV park power pedestal is something that 99.9% .9 of RVers will never do. Since the site that we're staying on is owned by friends of ours, we're going to do them a favor and save them the cost of an electrician by replacing the 30 amp circuit breaker ourselves. This is not something that an inexperienced person should do. If you're not either a licensed electrician or extremely competent and confident handling electric power, call a professional. Be sure the power is off before you begin working and make sure that you keep safety in mind at all times. Again, if you're not sure exactly how to do this and comfortable and confident around electricity, call a licensed professional. Before you do any work on your power pedestal, turn off the main breaker to be sure that the power is off. You can see we have a 30 amp plug here, two 20 amp plugs, the circuit breaker for the 30 amp, the circuit breaker for the 20 amp. All we need to do to access the circuit breakers is to remove this front plate by removing this screw and this screw at the bottom. Once you've removed those two screws, swing the bottom of the plate out and drop it down and that exposes the circuit breakers. It's a little dark in here so I'm going to shine a flashlight into the box so you can get a little bit better look at these breakers. And you can see they're standard household circuit breakers. The one on the left is the 30 amp that we want to replace. So we're going to grab it at the top and pivot it down and then pull straight out on it. You can see what connects it in the back here. These are the clamps that hold it in place and it simply clamps right into the back there. And all that's connected to it is a single wire. You can see underneath there is a single screw, a flat blade screwdriver in there. Turn to the left and it pops right out. We're going to take our circuit breaker to the hardware store and buy an exact replacement. Circuit breakers are different depending on what manufacturer they're from. We need an exact replacement. So we're back from the hardware store and you can see we have our nice brand new circuit breaker, 30 amps. Let's see if we can see that on there. There we go. You can see it shows 30 amps right on the breaker. This is an exact replacement for our other one. Make sure that you get the identical one. Don't just buy one and then go to replace it. You've got to remove the old one first and take it to the hardware store. So we want to loosen up our screw that's going to hold that wire in place and open that up. You can see the wire is going to go right inside this spot right there. I'm going to take our black wire. We're going to slide the wire right back in underneath the screw exactly as it came off the old circuit breaker and tighten it down nice and firmly. Now we're going to reinstall the new circuit breaker exactly as the old one was removed, which is to push the bottom in first and clip it in place. Once the bottom is clicked into place, push in firmly on the top. A 
until it clicks. And you can now see that the two of them are properly clipped side by side again. We're going to leave the power off on these until we turn the main circuit back on. Now we want to simply put our metal plate back in place. And we're going to make sure that these are properly coming through the hole here. And we're going to install our two screws. Now that we have our circuit breaker replaced, we can turn the power back on at the main breaker. Once the main circuit breaker is turned back on, you can plug your power cord from your RV back into the pedestal and then turn on the circuit breakers. And you're all done.